watercolour pour over masking fluid. At the end, if you're interested in a more in-depth discussion about the colours, I'll show you all of those in detail at the end of the video. So this is the way I started by drawing the blossom. I've got a beautiful blossom tree in my front yard and I just picked some fresh blossoms to draw from. As soon as the drawing is finished, I began to mask it with the first layer. So now I'm going to put on some lovely music for you to enjoy the drawing and the masking and the layering and the pouring. Okay, I've recoated my little brush with some more liquid soap and I've got some masking fluid ready here. I'm trying to remember the whole time that my light source is generally coming from this direction. So I'm going to continue to add masking fluid in a way that supports that idea. important to wash your brush as soon as you possibly can. Try and get it back to its original state. Okay, I've been sitting here and realized that I forgot to press record. So now I've pressed record, I'm going to just tell you what I've done. I made up another batch of the quinacridone pink and I added some cobalt turquoise light and then I um, poured it on and I've sprayed it to mix it and I was keeping the quinacridone pink in this range here. So now I'm going to let it dry and then come back for the next layer. Paint is dry and I'm ready to add more masking fluid.
these little dots capture in the background the little tiny areas of colour. I'll put some up here now. I've got to wash it out straight away. Okay, the next layer of masking fluid is all dry and I'm ready for the next pour. I'm going to add more quinacridone, um, <laughs> not more. I was using Opera, quinacridone Opera, but I'm going to change the pink. Uh, there's some dried in the little container, in the little soy sauce dish, but I'm going to add quinacridone magenta. Add a little more cobalt turquoise. Grab my brush, mix it in. Same with the turquoise. Then I'm ready to pour. I'm going to spray it. moment and I might just encourage it using my brush to come down here and then I'll add the turquoise to the side whoa so beautiful okay, I'm preparing my brush for the last time I'm squeezing out more liquid soap Masking fluid. And I'm ready for the final layer of masking fluid. Because this is the final application, I'll give it some more liquid soap to really make sure I get out the last little bits. Okay, I'm ready to pour the final layer. Spray as I did each time before. Everywhere, I've got the Viridian already, and I'm going to pour it around the outside this time. There's not much there, is there? I think I'll spray it and get all the little bits out. It's all dry and I'm ready for the final stage. This is the stage where all is revealed and I'll see whether or not 
I got it right with all my layering. Oh, that's such fun when it does that peeling thing. Oh, exactly like when you're a child. Just like when you're a child and you painted your hand with PVA glue, just to peel it off. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, there's some really lovely aspects to that. That's great. Get the little dots off now. That's a big drop that I um, accidentally made. Didn't mean for that to be so big. But the stems have gone really nicely. And I quite like what's going on in there. And just little bits of the green of, um, I've left bits um, when I was doing the final layer. And I didn't mean to do that, but I like it. This um, big drip here is bothering me a little bit. So I think I will make a, a gentle change to that. And I wonder if I might just risk grabbing a bit of that green. To just reduce the impact of that drip. Yep, that's better. Just feather it out a little bit so you can't see the hard edge. That's better. I'm going to have to reload a lot because it's thick. And of course when it's thick it's dark. Marion. Chapman. So now I'm going to talk about all the equipment that you need if you'd like to try this watercolour pour. It's pure fun and uh, really satisfying, but it does take a bit of time. I've got a brush that I am not in love with anymore because I ruined it. If you can see there on the side, it's starting to peel because I left it in um, a wet spot. So it's no longer a great brush. Use a brush for your, the masking fluid that you don't love. A pencil so that you can draw it and you want to press quite heavily because you need your pencil drawing to survive the many layers of masking fluid. A brush just to spread the color around occasionally, though you really are avoiding um, painting with your brush. You're just trying to keep the layers light with the pouring. I've got a number of soy sauce dishes. They're really awesome just to pour out of. Uh, this one, I gathered up some of the viridian that I used on the last pour. This one has um, some dried masking fluid and you get the insane satisfaction of doing that at the end because it dries and peels off beautifully. Uh, so depending on how many colors you've got, you'd, you'd need a dish for each one, you need a dish for the masking fluid, and you also need a dish for the uh, liquid soap. So this is um, body wash, body wash, liquid soap, detergent, um, soap, it's, it's all the same. It's just a soap to coat your brush in that will help the masking fluid be released from um, when you've finished painting the masking fluid. I've also got a masking fluid eraser and of course a jar of masking fluid. This one's Holbein and then I've got four colours. So I started with the two pinks. I've got quinacridone opera and quinacridone magenta, so two types of pinks. And the magenta is darker than the opera. And then I've got two types of green, I know, really turquoise, cobalt turquoise light is really a blue, but it's a blue green. And I finished with the green. So the order that I put them on was opera, magenta, turquoise, and then I added a viridian pour at the very end. You want the last pour to be the darkest and you work from lightest to darkest, which is the way that you work in watercolor anyway. So that remains the same. 
So thank you so much if you made it to the end of the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you got anything out of it. I really appreciate you watching and subscribing and all that kind of stuff. So thanks, guys. See you next time. Bye.